We got a couple other simple things to do. When it looks like he got past that point in his escape, where it's about to happen, he will escape. So let's turn it around. Another simple way we can turn around is stand up. Yeah, this is good for the traditional guys who stand up right here. Yeah, I love that because that's what they do. Whoosh, no big deal. Hey, whoosh, bring him forward a little. <laughs> All right, it ends up a lot of different ways. But you see the predicament? I got it because he put his two feet real close to my hips. Well, okay. Let's see where that'll take you. Okay? I like this one. Carlos calls it the pliers. Look at the control here. Ace. Boom. Okay? Once I lock in here, now I want to bump him forward a little. And now he's mine. And this controls which way I want him to go. Yeah, I can bring him this way. And just stay tight and maintain your position of authority. Okay? All right. It's the pliers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Come up one more time. Now, this time he's going to stand up more our way. One foot up, one foot back. Look at me. Yeah. I'm just coming up. Thanks. Foolish. Fine. I'm going to attack. Simple. Nothing real complicated here. I call it the caveman attack. Rawr. Take those legs. Drive sideways against the hooks in here. Whatever you get. Let's look at it again. This isn't, this isn't about a perfect way to do it. This is about using the energy to come up with him. And he's coming up. Open up. Come on in. Hey. Let's take this guy down before he goes anywhere. Now something that's happening here is this is being locked behind his heel in a real effective way. It's helping me. Okay? It'll be better if you got that. But don't worry if you don't. Look at me. Push. Bang. Hey. Something to bring him down. Okay? If he's really uh, backstepping I may have to chase him a little for a double. Yes! Boosh, you see that? That's even more ideal. Okay? Here I'm putting my weight against him here. Look at me. Look, lower my hip onto him. Yeah, because I want to pass. And I'm keeping my hips, pinning his hip long enough for me to come around. Okay? No space. <clears throat> Just a couple, two or three ways to sabotage the opponent's escape from your guard. Okay, remember, don't try to hold it too long so that he gets by you eventually. When he reaches that point where it looks like he's going to get out of there, turn it around. You become offensive. Sabotage his escape. Those simple things. We've got the pliers. <clears throat> We've got that one where he's standing up and I use the pull, push, boom. And then, uh, what was that third one we did? The caveman. <laughs> where I attack his legs. As he comes up, I sit up. If he's moving away, I'm coming after him. In any case, I'm going to take him right down because I'm giving up the guard at the right time, turning it around.